Good morning everyone. It is Tuesday morning and maybe a bit of a miserable day outside with the rain and everything's sort of melting away now but we're gonna have a time this morning around God's Word as we read together Proverbs chapter 19. So we just let the rain fall outside while we still and quiet in our hearts and listen to God's Word. Better to be poor and honest than to be dishonest and a fool. Enthusiasm without knowledge is no good. Haste makes mistakes. People ruin their lives by their own foolishness and they are angry at the Lord. Wealth makes many friends. Poverty drives them away. A false witness will not go unpunished, nor will a liar escape. Many seek favours from a ruler. Everyone is a friend of a person who gives gifts. The relatives of the poor despise them. How much more their friends advise, avoid them. Though the poor plead with them, their friends are gone. To acquire wisdom is to love oneself. People who cherish understanding will prosper. A false witness will not go unpunished and a liar will be destroyed. It isn't right for a fool to live in luxury or for a slave to rule over princes. Sensible people control their temper. They earn respect by overlooking wrongs. The king's anger is like a lion's roar, but his favour is the dew on the grass. A foolish child is a calamity to a father. A quarrelsome wife is as annoying as constant dripping. Fathers can give their sons an inheritance of houses and wealth, but only the Lord can give an understanding wife. Lazy people sleep soundly, but idleness leaves them hungry. Keep the commandments and keep your life. Despite despising them leads to death. If you are poor, you are lending to the Lord. He will repay you. Discipline your children while there is hope, otherwise you will ruin their lives. Hot-tempered people must, pay, must pay the penalty. If you rescue them once, they, you will have to do it again. Give all the advice and instruction you can, so that you'll be wise the rest of your life. You can make many plans, but the Lord's purpose will prevail. Loyalty makes a person attractive. It is better to be poor than dishonest. Fear of the Lord leads to life, bringing security and protection from harm. Lazy people take food in their hand. They don't even lift it to their mouth. If you punish a mocker, the simpleton will learn a lesson. If you correct the wise, they will be all the wiser. Children who mistreat their father or chase away their mother are an embarrassment and a public disgrace. If you stop listening to instruction, my child, you will turn your back on knowledge. A corrupt witness makes a mockery of justice. The mouth of the wicked gulps down evil. Punishment is made for mockers and the backs of fools are made to be beaten. Amen. At times in Proverbs you see some quite harsh words, don't you? That even that last verse, punishment is made for mockers and the backs of fools are made to be beaten. It really is a sign of the time, whenever it's written, and how they meter out justice or punishments. Um, it was a brutal time. Um, so whenever we read that at times maybe we are shocked by some of the language we are shocked by some of what we read but do remember that as we read it that you have to read it through the, the eyes of, of the time in which it was written um, if you think that is harsh think back to um, if you've done your history Victorian England where even stealing a loaf of bread could end you up in prison and being um, beheaded you know, justice over the years has changed um, and it's evolved how our understanding of it all is. But there are some things which stay constant. One of the constants which is in that chapter is about a child having respect for their parents, about listening to their parents as their parents teach them, as their parents correct them. And the model of that is the model of how Jesus and how, how God instructs us and corrects us you know we have to be willing to learn um one of the verses again the language is not 
maybe what we would like it to be. Verse 25, if you punish the mocker, a simpleton will learn a lesson. But if you correct the wise, they are all the wiser. It's about wanting to learn, wanting to be instructed and guided and directed, wanting to, to, to learn more. And that's us in our relationship with God. We should want to learn more. We should want to have that closer walk with God. Um, and God will guide us and direct us. At times he will put his hand on our shoulder and correct us and put us back in the right track when we go off our own way. And we've got to remember that. Um, at times he uses things that we face um, to teach us and also for his glory and honour. Um, the New Testament is all about that. So just remember that a father who loves us will teach us and correct us. Um, but it's all for our good it's so that we can grow closer in that relationship with him. So this week, but there was something else that we might face. Like I said earlier on, it's a dark and dismal day outside. The rain is coming down. Um, the snow is disappearing. It's all slushy out there. Um, the, the rain washes away that snow. Um, you know, that's like God in our lives, how he washes away and wants to clean us and cleanse us. But it takes time. Just like it takes time for that snow to be cleared. And tonight it was not all cleared. It'll freeze again. It'll be dangerous and icy. We, we're the same. Um, we don't always listen to God first time and he has to keep on guiding us and directing us. But he wants us to grow more like him and grow closer to him each day. So let's pray that we are open to that and we are open to, to learning to, from God. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you again for another day. Thank you again for the miracle of sunset and sunrise, of nighttime and daytime. Just the miracle of how this earth that you made revolves around the sun, which gives us warmth and life. Um, how the moon then orbiting around us gives us our tides, the ebbs and the flows. Lord, everything just works together because you have put it in place and that's how you have designed it. Lord, you are a great God with wisdom far beyond what we have. But Lord, you still want us to learn from you. You want us to learn about our relationship with you and to grow closer to you. So Lord, just each day, help us to be guided by you, instructed and, and taught by you, so that we can grow closer in our walk day by day. Lord, show us, Lord, show us those things that we do which are not helpful or useful, that are sinful. And Lord, help us to be able to remove them from our lives and then each day grow that bit closer to you. Father, thank you, now and always. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thanks folks for watching. Good to have you on again. Uh, back again tomorrow morning. Same time, same place. See you then. Take care. God bless. Bye.